Okay, hi. This is basically a um, video for myself to remind myself of how on earth to do seamless loops. Uh, I tend to forget to do this. Well, I do it. I do it periodically, I suppose, with like three or four weeks in between each um, take of having to actually do it, and I I just forget how to do it, which is really really annoying. Um, and then have to look on various YouTube videos and things. I, I don't even know if I do this the right way, but I've come to do this a way that works. So this is a recording for me, so that I know what to do. And also a recording, um, hopefully for anybody else that might find this, that wants to know how to do looping in Cubase. Um, I have a terrible latency issue at the moment, so um, when I'm talking with my headphones on, it's really annoying. Anyway, here we go. This may be a little bit stop and start, but we will see. So, um, first thing I want to do is mark the end of the track, which is here. I always do that by putting put a marker on the end of the track so I know where the pivot point is. Then in the MIDI, copy and take the MIDI over like that. And let's just check that that follows on OK. Oops, don't need the loop on you, Wally. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Right. Now what I need to do is to record over that. So I'm going to record right from the beginning to the end here. Um, and in Cubase, you have, well, there's probably a better way of doing this, but I'm going to export audio mix down. I always call this dump because it's not uh, going to be a final file. Uh, I'm just going to save it in the thing folder in the tracks folder. I'm going to do it as a WAV obviously. This is 4432. That's a bit bizarre. Uh, it can actually let's just change that. Let's change that to 4416 because it's actually going to go into a game. Periodic silence. No, that seems to be okay. Okay, that's fine. So that's 44.16. Let's resave it. Right, file, export this. This is obviously Cubase Elements, which I've never got to the... Um, I never got to update, because it seems to work quite well for me. 44.16, 44.16. It's a dump file. It's going to just go in here for the moment. Let's export it. Right. There we go. And it appears down here. Right, at this point, there's a few things I need to do. First thing is, it's on my other... Let's move it, in fact. On my mix console here, I'm going to switch off all the inserts on the master. And I'm going to make sure that that is at zero or, I don't know, normal, normal, whatever it is. Uh, so that the output of this is just isn't affected in any way. Um, I'm then going to put this back to the end point and I'm going to cut there. Okay, so we've now got the end. Now the end needs bringing to the beginning. Let's pull this down. I'm going to move the end right to the beginning like this. I'm going to solo those two tracks and let's just work with those two tracks. Let's make them big. So we can see what's going on. Now it's really important, we need a crossfade. So I'm going to crossfade that like that. And I'm going to do that like that. At the front here on this, I'm going to click like that. And I'm going to zoom in by pressing H. And I'm just going to, there's not going to be an issue, but to prevent any clicking, I'm going to just catch this bit here. Where's it gone? I won't do it for some reason. Um, hmm. Why is that? I've done that wrong, have I? No, I'm doing it on the wrong one. So here, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to take just a little bit off that. It should prevent any clicking, just to be on the very safe side. It's possibly not necessary. And then I'm going to go right to the very end. I'm going to click on there. H again to go zoom right in. And I'm just going to do the same thing there. OK. At this point then, I'm just going to bounce those down. Okay, so I'm going to bounce them. I've got this area selected here. Bounce them down. So File, Export, Audio Mix down. It's called Stargazing. 
and let's call this loop. I'm going to stay in WAV for the moment. Uh, and I'm not going to put it into the project, so let's get rid of that. OK. OK, so there is the loop. Now, <clears throat> let's test it, see if it actually works. Um, so using time stretcher here, 29a.ch forward, forward slash time stretch. Um, I can open the track in here. Um, where do we need to go? Yeah, projects finished. Um, I forgot what it's called. Stargazing PQRS stargazing stargazing loop. There it is. Put it in the time stretcher. Okay, let's play. Put it on repeat. And when we get here, it should loop. Okay, that's fine. What we're making sure we're not getting is a funny click in there. So that's done. Um, I'm just going to go back to the project and I'm going to just bounce this out again, uh, export as an OGG file and also as an MP3 for the particular project that I'm doing. Okay, so that's how to do it. It's really simple. You front goes to back with the MIDI, um, record over, then once you've done that, so do a dump record is what I'm doing. Put this, put the back on the front, crossfade like I've done here, check the, uh, go zoom in and check the WAV file and make sure there's no really big bit sticking out and just do a tiny little little sort of um, fade in which what you won't actually hear and then bounce it down making sure that um, the uh, everything on the mix thing here is is off off the off the off the stereo out there's no effects or anything on this when you're bouncing down or mixing down is really really important okay well i hope that's useful for me to remind me how to do it and if you've been watching and are still with me hopefully it's maybe helped you do it as well okay bye bye